What's up guys, Jordan Needham, JHAM3D. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add dirt on top of your objects in Blender. This isn't the only way to do it, but it is one of the most simple ways that I've found how to do it and I've used it several times in many of my artworks. So for this tutorial, we're only gonna need the default cube. So uh, we love you default, but not too much. And I'm gonna delete them. Okay, all right, I, I'm gonna bring them back. All right, so on this default cube, come over and add a new material and title it something like just, just dirt. Open up your shaders tab, your shader editor tab, and let's get started. So I'm gonna add a simple asphalt PBR material onto this cube just for the sake of demonstration. And then we're gonna add my simple dirt shader on top of it. And now, it's time to put dirt on it because if you have a road, you're always going to need dirt. So first off, shift A, add in a mix shader. And now shift A, add in texture, noise texture. And now shift A, converter, color ramp. And then come down here to your principal BDSF, shift D to duplicate. Now plug in the color of your noise texture into the factor of your color ramp and the color of your color ramp into the base color of your principal BDSF. And now plug your principal BDSF into the bottom socket of your mix shader node. And then come over here and plug your color ramp into the factor of your mix shader node. Man, this is going slow. All right, now bring the black value of your color ramp up just a little bit and then change the color of your white into something more like orange, orange, just something that's like a dirt color, you know? Already we've added dirt to this object. And uh, there's a bunch of different ways that we can play around with this, but we're gonna wanna make sure that we turn this roughness pretty much all the way up because dirt, you know, it's not very reflective. Same with the specular, turn that pretty much all the way down. Now, the reason that I included the principal BDSF in this tutorial is just because sometimes you might want to play around with these values, um, but albeit that it's just dirt, you might not even need this in the first place, but I just wanted to add that. But if you don't want to use the principal BDSF, it's really simple. All you do is um, just plug the color ramp into the socket that that principal BDSF was on, which is the bottom socket of your mix shader node. So now that we have this dirt, now we can add more dirt by bringing this black value down, or we can add less by crunching it. You can play around with this, make it maybe you wanna ease it off a little bit more so it doesn't look so harsh. And then the scale of your noise texture can really change things because um, if you make it really small, it can kind of just look like a simple, dust of dirt on top of it but if we scale it up a little bit it can look more like that really grungy really dirty look i mean this is this sucks i'm saying dirt a lot and then if you add that detail it can really look like you could use this more for a mud sort of texture right so another thing that you can do is you can come to your noise texture shift d to duplicate and then shift a add in converter math node change this to multiply and plug this noise texture, the top noise texture, into the top value. See how right here there's like no dirt at all, and then you come over here, it's like this blown dirt with a lot of texture on it. Okay, I'm gonna assume by this point you kinda get the point. This is how you add dirt to your objects in Blender. There's a lot of different factors, a lot of different ways that you can play around with it. But overall, I mean, this is a really simple setup. And I apologize if I made this any bit confusing. This is my first ever Blender tutorial that I've filmed. I've been a CGI artist for like about two years, exactly two years. I got this computer August 5th two years ago and it is August 10th. So I apologize for any confusion. I'm gonna try to get better as always, but let me know what I could have done better in the comments below. Did this help you? Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned for some more art tips, blender tips, tutorials, stuff along that nature. I'm Jordan Needham, this has been JHAM3D and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>